this. Let us verify the Pythagoras theorem with the items provided in the mathematics kit. We have some colorful cutouts here. Let us verify the Pythagoras theorem which states that in a right triangle the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Look here, we have a right triangle with sides A, B and C. As we can see here, we have a square of side length C units here and this is a square of side length A units and this is the side length square of side length B units and thus we have C square is equal to A square plus B square. Now, let us verify this theorem with the alternate method. We can arrange these two squares of side length A units and B units in this manner. Now, this represents A square and this represents B square. We will cut these two pieces into 5 pieces in such a manner that the square of side length B is cut into 3 parts and square of side length A units is cut into 2 parts. Let us see how we do that. This is one part, here comes the second part of square with length A units. This is square of side length B units which is cut into three parts. So, all together how many parts we have? We have five parts. Now, to verify our Pythagoras theorem, we should show that it is equal to C square. How will we do that? We will try to arrange these pieces on a square of side length C units. How will we do that? Let us pick up these pieces and arrange them on this square of side length C units. Yes, what do we see? We can see that these 5 parts exactly cover the square of side length C units. So, thus we have verified the Pythagoras theorem here A square plus B square is equal to C square.